Let's come to the next question. Consider, acha, this type of question I have just done today for your problem, uh, for your question bank also. What do I want to talk about in this question? See, a lot of times when they give you a particular kind of case, just for example, here they are saying, consider any real valued function f defined on the set of all real numbers f of f of x is x. If f is not identity function, which of the following is true? Now, in these cases, you have to go ahead and assume some value of the function. If you don't assume some function, it will become very difficult for you to solve. Let's say, for example, let's say there is a question. And this question says that you know what? Your function f of x, this is greater than 0, f dash x is greater than 0, f double dash x is greater than 0, then find something, something they have given. Or is this function following the, the properties? They have given you some explicit properties of the function. They haven't given you any function. You cannot do these questions unless you assume some function which follows all these three properties. And one classic example, this will only come with practice. One classic example of this is when your function is e to the power x. Exponent function is greater than zero. You find f dash x, that's also greater than zero. You find f double dash x, that's e to the power x, that's also greater than zero. So sometimes they will give you some properties of the function but you can only solve that question by assuming some function and not directly. Very similar thing is happening here. Let's have a look here. So I have gone ahead and I have taken my function to be a minus x. You can take any function as long as it follows this property. I will show you multiple other functions. So for example, if I go ahead and I take my function, see if this follows. Suppose my function is 1 by x. So what will be f of f of x? It will be 1 upon, instead of x, I will replace it with the function 1 by x, and I will get back x. That means this is also following this property. If I take my function to be a minus x, then I will take f of f of x. So instead of x, I will replace it with the function once. I will replace it with the function. So instead of x, I will write a minus x and I will get back x, right? So you have to go ahead and you have to assume a function such that it follows whatever property is given to you. Now, in this case, it is asking whether it will be decreasing or increasing. When function is this, what is f dash x? minus 1 by x square. This is less than 0 because of this negative sign. That means it is decreasing. Let's say your function I have taken is a minus x. Then what will be f dash x? It will be minus 1, which is less than 0, which means the function is decreasing. Let's say I take the function as minus x. Then f of f of x will be Instead of x, put the function. Function was minus x. It will be x. It is also following the property given to you. What will be f dash x? Minus 1, less than 0, decreasing. So we see that when we take a function such that f of f of x is equal to x, we see that it is a strictly decreasing function, that the derivative of it is negative. But 
to make these functions you need practice you have to do these questions a 